hello welcome to pro mixing and mastering today i've got another tutorial for you guys this is gonna be a breakthrough for your vocals and when i say it is gonna be a breakthrough for your vocals it's really gonna be a great breakthrough for your vocals the only compression trick you need for the next 20 years or probably let us put it 50 years from now you will still be using this compression trick look at how my vocal looks like there is no compression the only thing that i've got on my vocal is auto tune and i'm just gonna take it down to to three this is what i've got then in my group channel it's in group number two then in group number two all i got is a parametric eq that's what i got and um i'm just gonna take out rdsr as well then i have denoiser these are the only things that i've got parametric eq and eq a denoiser and then uh in my mono track i only have autotune i don't have compression and this is really gonna blow your mind it's really gonna transform the way you mix it's really gonna transform the way your sounds sound everything is just gonna work out this is uh a trick that a lot of uh, professional producers will never reveal to you they use this always but never reveal this to anybody the peaks are out the vocals are not controlled there is no compression whatsoever so certain parts are high certain parts are low here we go oh, oh, oh. lord i thank you for the blessing Your goodness to follow me. Everything I touch, everywhere I go, you they bless me. Double, double. God be your see, oh my God, you are good. Now everywhere I go, people they all got me. Uh huh. You took away my shame and made me famous. See, uh huh. because of you, I am what I am. All because of you that I stand to testify. Oh, oh, oh. I want to turn this vocal into a professional vocal. I want to turn this vocal into a good sounding vocal by using the only one compression trick that a lot of pro producers don't want to reveal to you that you're gonna need for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, or maybe probably till you get old you still be using this compression trick this is the sauce this is the chili this is what you need for your vocals and this is just gonna transform your mixes are gonna be faster so what is this trick the trick is using the old old software called adobe audition the trick works with cubase and adobe 1.5 simply by taking these vocals into adobe 1.5 and then doing the compression there and then from there bringing back the, these vocals into cubase uh, 5 and then see how it works now here is how it works i'm gonna get all these vocals into adobe 1.5 if you don't have adobe 1.5 0.5 the old model the older model is what i'm talking about that's where the trick is gonna work from just download it it's almost everywhere on google you can get it there so i'm gonna get we are going to get all these i want you to follow me we are going to get all these vocals into adobe 1.5 and from there we will do the processing the compression trick from there once we are done with the processing we are going to save that processed vocal and then once the processed vocal is saved we are going to bring back that processed vocal into cubase 5 and that's where you will see the changes that have taken place make sure you duplicate like this create another copy of the same audio track just remove the rest because that's where that vocal is gonna sit so i want to process this vocal in adobe 1.5 so what do i do 
I just have to minimize Cubase, go to the Hallelujah folder, the same folder where the song is, and then you go to audio. And then in Cubase 5, the name, don't forget the name, you, you might process a wrong vocal. So the name is Verses verses zero one so i know exactly where to go to verses zero one so what do i do now i have to um open adobe of course it's gonna open like that if you're using windows 10 yeah so adobe 1.5 is open so i just have to go to file then you have to go to open and then from there you have to go to uh hallelujah a eh? which is my song if your song is let's say uh, titled uh, stars you go to stars if your song is titled oceans you go to oceans then you you don't go to images go to audio then search for that particular uh vocal that you want to process and then if you want to process all of them just click and highlight all the vocals and then click open like this it's going to start, Adobe 1.5 is going to start loading, let's say, if you want to process all the vocals, if you want to compress all the vocals, if you want to add this vocal trick on all the vocals, you can just highlight all of them and then Adobe 1.5 will load. Now, we are looking for a vocal uh, named Versus 01, so this is the one, this is the one, just, let me just play it from here. Oh, Lord, I thank you for all the blessings. Let me open a uh, cubis and listen to 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 this vocal. Oh, Lord, I thank you for the bless. So that's the right vocal. Stay with me. That's the right vocal right there. So what I'm gonna do now is what you have to do now. Look at look at these transients. Look at how big they are. When, whenever I, I, I yeah, shout, yeah, yeah, even here, everything I do, everything I. It's even reaching up to negative four. Everything I do. Negative two, closer to zero. Everything I So we want to make sure that this is controlled. So what, what, what are you supposed to do? Here is where you go to. Come to effects. In Adobe 1.5. Come to amplitude. Go to dynamic processing. Click OK. And then come to this one, the last one, the, 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 the second from the last one. Vocal comp 8 to 1, negative 2, 4, which, which is the threshold, the threshold, the ratio 8 to 1. Then the attack is first attack. So you come to this one, 8 to 1 ratio, negative 24 threshold, uh, first attack come to this one don't go to anything else just come to this one and then what you do is uh, i want you to see what is going to happen to the wave everything is just going to get leveled up there is no vocal that that is going to be there is no transient that is going to be higher than the other or there is no part that is going to be higher than the other this is one of the best vocal compression tricks that somebody can use for the next 50 years or 100 years from now so i'm gonna click okay now and i want you guys to see what is gonna happen the, here we go three two one zero go see what has happened I, i'm gonna do undo and then redo this is this was before look at that look at that this is after Look at the, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Before, though, these were too high. These were too low. But this is after. Everything seems to be like they are all the same and they sound better. Oh, Lord, I thank you for the blessing. Yeah, your goodness to follow me. Look, look at where the vocal is. Negative eleven. Everything right there. Right there. Beautiful. Come See, oh my God, you are now. Before it was like this. Oh, Lord, I thank you for the blessing. Everything is jumping up and down, but now, now, which is uh, after, beautiful. You took away my sham and made me. Now, what, what, what I'm gonna do now? What you have to do is get the treated vocal, save it, and then 
get it to Cubase. So why are we gonna save this vocal? We are gonna save this vo vocal in the same folder but named differently. So you, I'm gonna name it, make sure you name it differently. If you name it, if you just save it the way it is, it's gonna replace the original vocal. You don't want the original vocal to be replaced. If you wanna go back to the original vocal, if you wanna work on the original vocal a little bit, so this is why you have to save the processed vocal separately. So this is gonna be 0 0.11. So here we go in the same folder, 0 0.11. Then I'm gonna uh, minimize Adobe 1.5, then I'm just gonna do refresh and then I'm gonna search for versus 0.11. This is the one. Then I'm gonna take it to uh, Cubase. Remember, this is why we had to do a duplicate of the same copy so that we create the same audio track so that the processed vocal can come and be placed in. So I've put the processed. Uh, audio vocal and remember I told you to put your snap on so that immediately you throw in your audio your vocal it's just gonna be in line with the original vocal so this is the original unprocessed vocal and this is the processed vocal which you've gotten from we processed from Adobe 1.5 and I want you to tell the difference this is how the original sounds like Lord, I thank you for the blessing. Jumping up and down. Now, here we go. Oh, Lord, I thank you for the blessing. Yeah, your goodness to follow me. Now, lo lo look at how the processed vocal from Adobe 1.5 looks like. Just, just see how leveled it is how leveled it is compared to the original vocal look at this area just see how it was jumping up and down just just look at this just look at this look at how clean this vocal looks like so clean and like it looks like you just wanna looks like you can just eat it right there right yeah it's a good vocal this is a trick that you guys can use for the next hundred years i believe you will live up to a hundred years doing production in your old age that's something that that's great so um i know there are some s's so how do we control the s's somewhere here somewhere here somewhere here lord i thank you for the blessing ding ding snap off all the blessing all the blessing so just go to your group and then throw in an rds just to control the s the s so i'm gonna throw in rds st stereo since we are in a uh, stereo group so here we go all the blessing all the blessing so the S's are controlled right there and this is how the vocal sounds like with the instrumental. Oh, Lord, I thank you for the blessing. Yeah, your goodness to follow me. Everything I touch, everywhere I go, you the bless me. Double, double. God be see, oh my God, you are good. Now everywhere we go, people they all got me, uh-huh. You took away my shame and made me famous, see, uh-huh. All so because of you, I am what I am. It's all because of you that I stand to testify. Oh! And this is the original vocal. Oh! Lord, I thank you for the blessing. Look at this area right here. Thank you for the blessing. Yeah. Your goodness to follow me. Everything I touch. Treated vocal. Thank you for the blessing. Yeah. Your goodness to follow me. And of course I can raise it up a little bit. Thank you for the blessing. Yeah. Your goodness to follow me. Everything I touch, everywhere I go, you the bless me. Double, double. Copy, oh, see, oh my God, you are good. 
So no matter how I shout like, ah, be you, everything is just like the same. This is what I love doing and trying to give you guys. And um, please subscribe to this channel for more great videos. I've got cool videos for you guys, cool tutorials for you guys. And this is really going to help you to like produce your mixes, mix your mixes to the max. And if this video has really helped you, uh, leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Make sure you download Adobe 1.5. So finally, if once you are done with the, uh, the first vocal, let's say if you want to process all the vocals you have saved this one just go to the next one do the same go to effects amplitude dynamic processing click ok hit save go to save us replace it save go to the next continue doing until all the vocal like this vocal see this vocal how high this vocal is Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm just gonna go to effects, amplitude, um, dynamic processing. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Hallelujah. Just Hallelujah. Just like that. Oh, this is like a dream. Sounds like it's not real, but it is real. This is how you do it, guys. So I'll see you in the next one.